Hello and welcome to Scandi Tutorials. Today we're going to learn all about HDR toning in Adobe Photoshop. Now, to add this effect we're going to be utilising filter and high pass. We're also going to be adding a little bit of Gaussian blur, adding a little bit of curves as well and sharpening the image with a layer mask. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Okay, so let's get straight into the tutorial. Now the first thing to do as always is drag and drop the image that you're going to use into Adobe Adobe Photoshop. The image that I'm using is a pretty standard image of a Audi taken with a pretty decent resolution camera but you know you can take pictures like this on camera phones you don't necessarily have to be a professional photographer to take a picture of this quality and you will see at the end of the video what it looks like with the HDR toning on top which really brings through the colors the depth the shine and it just makes the image look all around better so let's get straight into it press ctrl and J to make a duplicate of the background layer then go to filter other and high pass you want to set the ratio to sort of between 3 and 4.5 so I think I'll have mine probably about say about 3.5 just so I can bring through the details of the contours of the areas that I really want to bring through and then just hit OK then the next thing to do is change your blending mode to vivid light so just go down and select vivid light like so and then we want to flatten the image so right click and click flatten image there we go now make another duplicate by pressing ctrl and j and then go to filter other high pass now this time you want to set the radius to sort of between 6.8 and 7. Obviously Photoshop is it's a game of fine details so if you go too far it's not going to look really good. So just stick between 6.8 and 7. Hit OK and then change the blend mode to colour. Looking pretty good. I'm going to change the opacity and turn it down to about say in or around 20%. So that looks like I might take it down a little bit more actually down to about 15 and then leave it like that right click flatten image again make another duplicate by pressing ctrl and J now we're going to sort of blur the background so it really brings through the details of the Audi so to do that we're going to go to filter blur and Gaussian blur then set the radius sort of between 9 and 10. So say if I have mine at 9. Now if you really want to create a blurred background, obviously increase it a little bit more. But just for a sort of standard blur that we're going to bring through on a mask, I'd say set it between 9 and 10. But it's entirely up to you. You can go a bit wild on this one depending on what you want to do. But I'm just going to keep mine as 9. And then press OK. Then I'm going to go to Filter noise where is noise there it is and then add noise change the amount to between I'd say around 3 and 3.5 so if I go to 4 I'll just stick with 4 and it just adds a little bit of noise to it a little bit of distortion but it's not going to apply to the car it's only going to apply to the background anyway so just press OK and then add a layer mask in the bottom which will show as white make sure that you have it selected and select Control and I to invert the layer mask to make it disappear go over to your brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard and change the size of the brush tool by using the brackets below the plus and return key so I'm just gonna make mine pretty big I'm gonna change the opacity down to say about 30% there or thereabouts and then just go over using your blacks and your whites the back of the image so it starts to add a little bit of a blur I'm gonna make sure I've got a soft edged brush selected as well so I think I'll go with that one and then I've actually I've got my foreground set to white and just change my background to black so press X change that to black and then you can change between the two by pressing X on the keyboard so because my backgrounds black and inverted I want to have it set to white and then bring through the mask like so so I'm just gonna go around the edge 
I'm not going to spend too much time on it, obviously, because you know the video will be quite long. But you get the idea. Just go around the edges, and as you can see on the mask, it's starting to bring through the blur. So I'm just going to use that as a kind of a quick guideline, a really quick one, and then just go across there at the bottom like so. And the more blur that you do add when you put the Gaussian blur on, obviously the more it's going to blur when you bring it through on the mask. So that's that, looking pretty good. We're going to flatten this again by right click and click flatten image in the layers panel. And then we're going to make another duplicate by pressing Control and J. Go to filter, sharpen and unsharp mask. Now I'd have the amount to sort of below 90%. Obviously have a little play around with this. You will be able to see now if I just take it down keeps a bit more of the depth or you can really add you know a really strong HDR effect by having it really high but that looks a little bit too much for me so I'll try 80 try 70 I'll say that looks pretty good for me I'll change the radius to say around 20 20 pixels and leave the threshold at zero like I said it is up to you change the amount and the radius but stay sort of around 70% and 20% depending on different pitches and the you know the types of pitches sizes of pitches DPI everything it, you know it can vary but the standard amount is sort of between 70 on the amount and 20 pixels in the radius as well so just hit OK and then we're good to go. Now the final thing that we're going to do is add a little bit more depth to the colour by putting some curves on top. So to do that we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Curves and then we're going to bring the bottom end down to add a little bit of darkness. So I'll grab it at about the point where the colour comes in here and then just take that down a little bit don't go too wild on this because it can go crazy just use slight curves and then in the top end I'm just gonna bring that up just a little bit just to add a bit more light to it as well so hit OK and then we're pretty much done with our image so I'm just gonna flatten this again right click and flatten image so you can see and then I'm just gonna drag in the before image so you can see the difference between the two And as you can see with the before image, it looks pretty standard. And with the HDR toning added on, it really brings through the colors. Now I have gone over the top a little bit on this. You can adjust with the ratios as much as you want. The more you want to bring through, just increase. And obviously the less you want to bring through, just decrease. But that's HDR toning in Photoshop. I hope you like this tutorial, guys. Don't be a pencil. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.